here at Eldora Speedway. It's showtime! Boy, you can watch James McFadden drag the brake on that, getting that baby set. The old suspension loaded up. He'll leap out to the race lead. Here comes Brent Marks. Good drive off the top side. Deep down into turn number three. He's looking out wide. Got that wing in the wind as he runs down McFadden up front. Down the backstretch. Five curlings separate them as they race into turn three. Brent Marks is on the move. Down to the inside comes Brent Marks. Had a nice little diamond maneuver last time down turn number one to two. Grab some gravity onto the back straightaway. He'll do the same thing again out of the corner. And down the back shoot. James McFadden better be hustling hard when he hits turn number three because here comes Marks down the inside. Drives it across the nose. Clips the whiskers and moves into the number one spot. Now McFadden knows he's got company. He'll to return the company, to return the favor into turn number two, slide job, but Marks reads him like a book and dives down underneath him. Brent Marks, a heck of a move to maintain the lead. All this working through the dirty air of the track or the field in front of him. December 17, eight, Boston McCarls. There goes McFadden down the inside, back to the number one spot. Marks crossover. Look, out real estate is occupied, but he's got the number one spot yet again. Wow, close quarters there in turn two, Jet Brent Marks. And James McFadden racing hard for the top spot. McFadden right there, and here comes Kerry Madsen. Three-car battle for the lead, and Donnie shots into the mix as well. Yeah, throw four cars down the insides. Look out, a little slip of grip from a pad. Now to get Kerry Madsen back through. The number two M car moves back into the number two spot. All this happening right behind the big unit, Austin McCarl. McCarl a lap down to Brent Marks up front. Marks starting to step him off in the number five car. Now into turn number one. David Gravel's pulled right to the back bumper of Kerry Madsen as they work off turn two. About five car lengths separate them. David Gravel was all over Kerry Madsen and we got a yellow one upside down in turn number four or nope into the wall looked like he was upside down from our view couldn't quite see yeah, it's Aaron Reitzel it is green flag comes out Mark's gonna bring field back to life oh David gravel around after contact on the restart with and he'll get on his side contact with the two Emma Kerry Madsen the red flag will fly and here we go in car camera right here oh man Pretty good shot on the fence there. Charge down off the banking. Again, Donnie Schatz looking out just a little bit wider in the rest of the field. Down into turn number one. Marks up front, though, just kind of stomps and romps his way out by about seven car length advantage. Down into turn number three and four. Down low goes Kerry Madsen. Here comes the madman. Kerry Madsen really closing. Marks misses his line into turn number three. And here comes Madsen. Two to go and Madsen all over Marks at the start finish line. Battle for your race lead. Here goes Madsen down the inside. He's got it. Marks tries to turn him back to the inside. He'll take the number one spot back away. He knows he's got company into turn number three. It's going to be white flag coming out this time. Bold move through traffic for Brent Marks. And that might be the winning move, Chet Christner. What a move by Brent Marks to get through lap traffic as we roll for the final time down the backstretch. Definitely throttled that baby up. The number five car down in turn number three and four. Madsen back behind. Can see him. Can't get to him. And up front, it's going to be Brent Marks picking up night number one of the governor's reign here at Eldora Speedway.